Hello everybody, this is Marta here on YouTube. Today I have a Selena Gomez all matte inspired look. So pretty much we all saw her incredible blonde locks at the American Music Awards this past weekend or something like that. And I loved her makeup. It just, she looked so put together, so like, I'm perfect. Well, I mean, she's perfect, but you know what I mean. I'm perfect. Nobody bother me. And I just loved the look. So I've been wanting to do a, a no matte look and I thought this might be the perfect, perfect opportunity to do it. So if you guys like this look and want to know how to get it, then keep on watching. So for foundation today, I'm going to be using two different things. If you see Selena Gomez's look, her makeup look for the American Music Awards, you can see it's a very high coverage uh, foundation and concealer she's using. Also, she has quite a lot of powder. Uh, it looks natural, but it's obvious that she has quite a lot of powder or it's just the foundation that looks that way. But Anyway, uh, the foundation that I'm going to be using is my MAC Studiofix Fluid SPF 15 in NC40, which is one that matches me right now. And I'm going to be mixing, mixing it with my MAC Strove Cream uh, in Peach Light. I'm going to be mixing both of this just because this is a little too much full coverage for me. My skin is pretty good and I take care of a lot of my skin, so I don't really like this foundation. It feels very cakey on my skin, so I like to mix it, but uh, you can see, you can totally tell in her makeup look that it's quite a full coverage uh, foundation. Now, for concealer, I can be using two things. I'm gonna be using my corrector by Becca, which is the one that I always use, and I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of this. This is my MAC concealers. They're a little bit dirty right now. I I don't tend to mix in here, but I've been doing it in the last few days to see the colors and to see how much I can mix, mix and match. Um, so I have to clean it out before this Saturday that I have clients. But I'm gonna be using both of these right here and a little bit and a little bit of this one, wait, which, yeah, a little bit of that one too, um, for my under eye circles. Simply because since this look is such a high coverage look and it's so, everything is matte and stuff like that, I just want something that is actually gonna cover my skin and it's gonna look good. So, you can see, no, no. You can see um, the foundation and just a little bit of my strobe cream. I got my little spongy here. I mix it in and now I'm gonna apply it to my face. Now, the only thing I do have to say with this foundation is that I prefer to do one side and then blend it out and then do the other side, blend it out and just go by pieces because sometimes it can dry up and look weird. Here's the other thing, if you use a sponge instead of a brush, the sponge is going to absorb more product. No matter if it's if it's the Beauty Blender or any other sponge, it's going to absorb more product than a brush. Which is why normally we use sponges, it makes it look more natural. It just it looks better. This is my corrector. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. The one that I always use, I'm gonna be using it on my ring finger, which is funny because it's pretty much the only finger I don't have a ring on. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna be using this to help brighten underneath my eyes. So, as you can see, I'm just applying the first two colors onto, which I actually, I think I can tell. This is NC35 and I think NC30. To highlight, I'm going to be using this one, which I don't really know the name. I will tell you the name down below. But I'm just using a little bit of that one and applying it kind of on the top of it. And that's going to act as the highlight instead of just applying the whole highlight all over my eyes. Uh, cause it's gonna look weird if I do. And then I'm just blending it out. 
So now I'm gonna set my face before the concealer goes crazy. So for my whole face, I'm gonna be using my medium golden mineralized skin finish powder by MAC and just a big fluffy brush. Or underneath my eyes, I'm gonna be using the same powder in the color medium, which is a lot lighter. The eyes and the eyebrows are so, super simple. The eyes basically don't have pretty much any shadow in it. So I'm gonna be using one that is pretty similar to my skin color, just a little bit darker than mine. And this is Cornelius. This is by Colourpop. So I'm gonna be using a synthetic brush for it to work. And this is a Real Techniques based shadow brush. And I'm just gonna grab some of this color and kind of use it around here this will just help give a little tiny definition to the eye which is kind of what we're missing right now i'm gonna run a little bit on my lower lash line as well again it will give more definition to the eye it will open it up a little bit more so for the bottom lash line i'm gonna be using my rebel my scandal eyes by rimmel london and just apply it to my waterline Again. So she does have eyelashes on. I'm not gonna bother with it because honestly, I don't have individual lashes to use for myself. I have them just for my clients. So I'm just gonna leave those in there. I'm not gonna waste them. But you would normally put some eyelashes. I would say if you have a hard time with individual or the little, um, the other ones that have the little bunch up thingies, uh, I would say to get a very natural one, which a very natural eyelash that has the transparent band. I think that will be better for you and it will be easier to place on your lashes and it's going to look more natural as well. So I definitely recommend that. A little bit more powder. I'm going to be using the same um, medium powder that I used to set underneath my eyes and I'm just going to gonna use it here to help blend the other eyeshadow it brightens up the eye a little more as well underneath the brow bone as well Selena Gomez pretty much only had uh, bronzer all over her um, face she did have a little bit of shine but I think I added enough shine with my foundation trick mixing it with the peach light so for bronzer I'm gonna be using my Kiko Cosmetics bronzer and I do not remember the name because it's completely worn off on the back but I'm gonna be using that in my powder powder big powder brush So the bronzer pretty much is going as a blush and a bronzer at the same time. So I'm just mixing both of them on both blush and bronze side of it. So I'm going to do my lashes. I'm going to be using my Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, which is my favorite. So for lips... I feel like this might be the best choice because she had a little bit of sheen to her lips. And this is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Cherry Tart 070. And it looks a little too red on camera, but I'm going to be mixing a little bit of Raspberry Pi too. Just to make it a little bit more pinky and less red. Okay guys, and that is it for this inspired matte look by Selena Gomez. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload new videos, which is pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!